What is up, everybody? It's iDude here, and we have our first delivery from Hohe. So, I've already cut it open. Let's tear into it here. It's a little hard to do the cutting. Uh, shipping info. Don't, don't show that. Don't need that. All right. We've got our junction valve in, and uh, awesomely, uh, I didn't know there was a little miscommunication with uh, the people over at Hohe. I guess they didn't have any in stock, and they were sent out for powder coating, and uh, so the shipping was a week out, and I wasn't aware of it, so I've kind of been awesome. Two stickers. Love when they give you two instead of one. Way better. Um, so I was kind of waiting, and uh, what else we got in here? Oh, okay. I haven't seen Osiris shoe in a long time. <laughs> but cool, got got a business card, a little contact info. And we've got our junction valve. And for those of you who don't know what a junction valve is, here is the explanation. I'm removing the reservoir from the rear master cylinder, adding this junction valve, and that's going to trail off to my handbrake setup, which is here and currently ready to bleed. So, once I get my master on there, I'm still waiting on the shipment from Cox Stump Parts with a crash cage and an 80 inch line that uh, Matt happened to have laying around. And uh, the nice guy that he was gave it to me at an awesome price and threw it in the box with my crash cage. So we're waiting on that stuff to get here and then we're gonna have some awesome videos on the best methods, trial and error, uh, how to bleed the junction valve to get a, a good hard bite. I hear a lot of people say that they won't lock up a tire. I hear a lot of people praise them. I think people's bleeding skills are a little whack, <laughs> and we'll see. So, this is going to tide me over until I can get a dual brake caliper. Uh, the brake line that I had Matt ship me is an 80-inch line, so I won't have to change out anything from the master cylinder or the brake line. I'll just have to unbolt it from the junction valve, run it over to the caliper, bolt it up, bleed the air out the caliper, bleed it back to the reservoir, tap it out a few times, and we're done. But, whew, with all that said, short, quick video, super stoked, got a junction valve in. Uh, we're still... Yep, December 17th. It's currently the 18th. 18th. So, they haven't changed anything for the shipping uh, information. So, that sucks. I don't know where my crash cage is, but it is a bit bigger of a package. So, we'll just uh, wait and see when that gets here. And, uh, yeah, like I said, look forward to the next few videos that are coming in. Uh, maybe not the exact next ones. Depends on, again, how long the shipping takes. Uh, but, yeah, stay tuned. We're going to get more videos of us installing the upgraded crash cage. Uh, the four puck cage and installing this handbrake. Uh, yeah, so like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Man,